Justin Anderson Weight Loss Center on Cedar Crest Boulevard after being invited to do so by the center's owner. Opplerbach and Ritter, who are members of Consumer Protection and Professional Licensing Committees, are in the beginning stages of trying to establish state guidelines for weight loss companies, something Kirsten Anderson says she'd love to see. The public needs to know that there are respected and professionally run weight loss clinics in this country. There are thousands of people who have received professional help to lose weight and who have been helped to change their lifestyle and their eating behavior in such a way that the extra weight stays off. The difficulty is that there has been no method identified by which the public can select among the true, genuine program providers such as Kirsten Anderson and the charlatans in the industry. Kirsten Anderson says her clients' physical conditions are closely monitored by licensed personnel. She says her program emphasizes gradual weight loss while eating food that can be bought in the supermarket. And she claims that 70% of her clients are able to maintain their goal weight after a year. But legislators say too many other companies are more concerned with what people lose in their pocketbook than off their hips. How much is it going to cost? What are the type of services that are going to be provided to me? Um, how much is related to the product? What other alternatives do I have? Do I only have to buy your product or can I choose other products as well? And these are the things that people do not realize until they get in, have usually a, a, a short consultation and they're asked to sign a contract without proper notification of what it is they are committing themselves to purchase. One program that sells its own low-fat food is Nutrisystem, and the company is now in the midst of a lawsuit filed by those who say the food caused them to have severe gallbladder problems. But officials at this Nutrisystem center say their food is nothing short of healthy. Barbara Sofa says it's easier to control a client's weight loss by having them eat these foods, which are not only low in fat, but low in sodium. It's extremely successful. It's very healthy. It's very nutrition-oriented. It's a program that has a very strong emphasis on education and behavior modification, changing people's habits, their way of dealing with food permanently. Barbara Stofa says she also would like to see regulations adopted, and state legislators say they hope to do that before the end of the year. For Channel 69 News, I'm David Scott. The Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office of Consumer Protection says it has never received a consumer complaint against any Lehigh Valley weight loss business. Joining us live now from the Campbell Medical Center in Bethlehem is Dr. Hugo Twaddle, a specialist in internal medicine at Muhlenberg Hospital Center. Doctor, thank you for being with us this evening. And uh, Everyone wants to look different by tomorrow. They want to do it quickly, yes. but doing it quickly, that's a dangerous procedure, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. The one important thing about losing the weight is to lose it the way you put it on, and that's physiologically. Uh, your, body, your body adjusts uh, to, to what's going on and to the way you eat. If you do it too quickly, uh, the way your body adjusts is not in a, in, a, in a healthy manner. And losing the weight too quickly, an awful lot of patients put it on just as quickly once they stop uh, their diet. Are there some signs that people could look for to indicate to them they're losing weight in an unsafe way? Uh, one is if you feel nauseous or if uh, uh, getting palpitations or, uh, or uh, getting dizziness or a number of other symptoms. And another is patients should be weighing themselves, weighing themselves uh, at the same time every day on the same scale and uh, keeping a curve of their weight and following it over the months of their diet. What if people want to find a weight loss center? We heard about the one that uh, David Scott just reported on. There are, are many of them out there to choose from. How do you know what's a good one when you go out there to look for one? Uh, the best way is to discuss it with your family physician. Uh, there, are, <clears throat> there are a lot of food supplements that are used. The one important thing is to have a, a nutritional balanced diet. Uh, it's, not, it's not a good advantage to lose the weight and to do it for, uh, with loss of nutrition. In the end, the patient will lose. Just one more thing as far as how gradually we ought to lose weight. Is there a certain number of pounds to shoot for in a given a period of time, like a month? Uh, it would actually depend on the patient, uh, on his medical condition and how much weight he has to lose. Uh, that's why it's important to discuss it with a physician before uh, entering into a, a crash diet. Okay. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Rob. Some kidney dialysis.